Hello there, welcome back to course and management accounting at five. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at the question from the question paper on June 2025. So, uh, in terms of our question uh, two, uh, the first question reads that define the following terms. Uh, we've got the payroll, uh, lead time, uh, stock transit. So, uh, the question requires us to come up with the definitions of those terms. So, uh, in terms of payroll, uh, it is compared to the code workers, cross wages, service. Uh, uh, the deductions and the net wages. So uh, this is what we see on the payroll. Remember, the payroll summarizes uh, the workers' remuneration. The workers' remuneration, basically, we are talking about uh, the salaries and wages. So uh, this is uh, exactly uh, what we have in terms of uh, the deductions uh, that will be there. Uh, remember, uh, to arrive at your net salary, uh, you should uh, say gross salary minus uh, deductions. So all those uh, calculations will be uh, on the uh, payroll. So uh, in terms of lead time, uh, is the time between ordering the stock and delivering of a stock. So that is uh, lead time. And the stock transit is material already purchased, but it is not yet uh, delivered. So uh, basically, that's uh, what we have for that part. And then uh, we go to uh, the second question. Uh, on the second question, uh, it reads, complete uh, the following sentence. A dash serves as a source document for the actual time spent on a specific job. Uh, so what is uh, 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 a statement uh, that serves as a source document for uh, the actual time spent on a specific job? So you'd see that uh, uh, we can call that a timesheet. Uh, we can call it a timesheet, uh, a time cut, or a job cut. So basically, that's what we have on that part. Uh, we go to... Uh, Next question says the following information provided to you by KB uh, Morbin manufacturers uh, show the calculations cost and care during the month of February 2023. So we've got a list of costs that we had cared uh, in the month of February 2023. Uh, a list uh, of balances. And then on the first part, uh, it reads the fixed manufacturing overhead costs uh, if production levels would decrease uh, to 1,200 uh, units. Uh, what uh, is the fixed manufacturing overhead cost if production levels would uh, decrease to 1,200 units? But basically, we can see that uh, we can see that uh, the this is fixed manufacturing overheads. And you see that anything, any cost that is fixed does not change with a number of units and uh, remains the same. So even if uh, uh, the units decrease to 1,200, fixed cost remains the same. So we have uh, our fixed uh, manufacturing overheads being 14,500 runs, so it means that uh, they will remain uh, 14,500 runs. So that is our response on uh, 2.3.1. The 2.3.2, the prime cost in CAD during February 2023, uh, the prime cost in CAD. So remember, uh, prime cost, uh, on the calculation of prime costs, uh, we will add uh, direct material costs. Uh, plus direct and labor cost. So basically that's the formula that we have. So we check according to our question, uh, you'd see that we have got wages paid to factory workers, and this is our direct material cost. Sorry, our direct labor cost. Uh, we have direct labor cost uh, is wages paid to factory workers. And then uh, we check for direct material cost we are given it here. So this is our direct material uh, cost. So we add the two 20,500 uh, rands plus 22,650 uh, rands. So uh, we present it as such. Uh, so uh, we are going to see. So we can show uh, that calculation. So it's uh, 20,500 uh, rands plus uh, 22,000. 650 rands. So we do that, so we get uh, your answer is 43,150 rands. So basically, uh, that's what we have on that part. Let up, uh, we go to uh, the next question. On the next question, uh, it reads the conversion cost in CAT uh, during February 2023. Uh, conversion cost cared uh, during uh, February 2023. So on the calculation of uh, the conversion cost. So conversion cost, uh, it is equal to uh, your direct labor. Uh, 
uh, the edge of variable. I get your variable manufacturing overheads. Variable manufacturing uh, overheads. And also a fixed manufacturing overheads. So with that, uh, we find that your direct labor, according to our information, uh, we'll see that uh, we have our direct labor is at 22,000, uh, 22,650. So we can uh, include that as 22,650. And then, uh, of course, on the next part, we've got fixed, uh, we've got, we got variable, uh, variable, but fixed over it. So we go again and check what we have in terms of a variable, a variable, but fixed over it. Of which we've got variable, but fixed it over it cost is 12,000, 12,200. So we include our 12,200. Uh, then we add our fixed manufacturing, uh, fixed manufacturing over years, uh, which we have is 14,500. So we add 14,500. Uh, 14, so if you add, you get your total is 49,350. So that becomes your conversion, uh, your conversion cost. So with that, uh, we'll move on to the next part, whereby after conversion costs, uh, we have calculation of total production cost in CAD during February 2023. So total production costs, we are adding all the costs that we have. So remember, we already uh, have calculated the prime cost, and uh, we got uh, the prime cost as uh, direct material uh, plus a uh, direct uh, labor, uh, which we uh, added and got uh, we got forty three thousand one hundred fifty. Then we add other cost from there. So we are saying uh, forty three thousand uh, forty three thousand one hundred fifty is our prime cost. Uh, 43,150, which we have added direct material uh, plus direct labor cost, and then we add other costs. We have got uh, uh, we have got 12,200 for variable manufacturing overheads. We add again, we add fixed manufacturing overheads of 14,500. Then we get at uh, the total cost. So 12,200, uh, 12,200. And then we add also the uh, fixed uh, manufacturing over at 14,500. So we add that, we are going to get your total, uh, a total of 69,000. 69,850. So this becomes your total production cost in CAT, 69,850. Uh, so we go to the next one is saying at uh, the total manufacturing overhead cost to produce uh total manufacturing overhead cost to produce 2150 units. So to produce 2150 units, uh, you'd see that uh, obviously we are going to say according to information given, we've got fixed manufacturing overheads, which doesn't change with the level of output. So we are going to say fixed manufacturing overheads plus uh the variable manufacturing overheads for 
uh, for 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 two thousand, uh, for two thousand, for two thousand, uh, one hundred and fifty units. So, uh, for two thousand one hundred and fifty units, remember the variable will be different from the information given. The information given is one thousand five hundred units. So we calculate for that. So, uh, the way we are going to calculate it, uh, we are going to say. Our fixed manufacturing overheads is 14,500. So in our calculation, we are going to say 14,500. And then we add uh, the variable manufacturing overhead for 2,100. The variable manufacturing overhead that we are given is for 1,500. So we find the variable uh, per unit. So we're going to say the total variable manufacturing overhead is 12,200. Uh, 12,200 divided by 1,500. So we are saying to get the variable per unit. So we are saying 12,200. Uh, 12,200. And then we divide by 1,500 units to get uh, the per unit var uh, variable. So we calculate it like that. We get the per unit. And then we calculate by the number of units uh, that are needed uh, according to our, our question we've got 2150 units so you know about 2150 units uh, on that part uh, remember the question requires only the total manufacturing of my course so you say variable plus fixed so in that case now uh, we calculate and see what we get So you're going to see that uh, if we further simplify it, uh, it becomes uh, 14,500 plus, if you divide 2,200 by 1,500, you're going to get 8.13. 8.13, and then you multiply it by 2,150. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we further simplify it, it becomes 4,500, uh, 8.13. And that is 830 cents times 2,150 units. Uh, we are going to get your answer is uh, 17,479 uh, 17, uh, runs at uh, 50 cents. Uh, we add the two. Uh, we add the two, we get a total of 31,979 uh, runs 50 cents. So this is uh, the manufacturing go for 2,150 units. So basically, that's what we have on that part. Then we move on to the next question, which is saying the variable manufacturing go cost if production levels increase to 2,100. So we have calculated already the variable manufacturing go per unit. We have calculated each and got one eight eight hundred cents. So we multiply now by uh, 2,100. Uh, so we are saying. Uh, 8.13 times 2,100. Uh, we'll see what we get. Uh, if you multiply, you are going to get your answer is 17,000 and 73 rats. So that's this well, variable manufacturing over its cost in production levels. To 2,100 units. Then on the uh, last part, the labor hours necessary to produce 2,100 units. Uh, simple proportion. Uh, remember, for the information given, we are given that uh, 1,500 units uh, requires 990 hours. 1,500 units requires 990 hours. What about uh, what about 2,100 units? So that's proportion. So we can make it a proportion by saying 1,500 is close to 990. 1,500 is close to 990 hours. Uh, hours. What about 2,100? So that's the question mark. So with that, we can uh, see a simple proportion by saying uh, this figure here is uh, what you don't have. Uh, what you don't have. And this figure becomes uh, what you have. And this one is the given figure. 
Uh, so on your calculation, uh, you are going to say uh, what you don't have is a uh, numerator over what we have as a denominator, and then you multiply by the given figure. So uh, with that, we follow on uh, the calculation, and we are going to say what you don't have in this case is one is two thousand five two thousand one hundred over what we have, 1,500, times the given figure, 990. So, calculate like that, so let's see. Let's see what we get. Uh, you see that we are going to uh, get it as 1,386 hours. So, your answer becomes... 1,386 hours. So uh, this is a, uh, basically what we have, guys, according to this video uh, on uh, manufacturing overheads. Uh, thank you for listening, and hopefully the video was helpful. And please, let's not forget to subscribe and share uh, to our channel. Uh, let's share the link to our colleagues who are doing uh, cost and management accounting in five. As for this video, I'm out.